Hello everybody and welcome to Pembroke High School, the site of tonight's Section 5 boys basketball matchup between two Genesee Region League rivals. Pembroke hosting Byron Burgeon, a matchup between two of the top teams in the GR League. Pembroke at 9-3, Byron Burgeon at 11-4. We'll see what these two teams have to offer in just a few moments. But first, we'll pause for the starting lineups in the National Anthem here at Pembroke. All right, here we go. Moments away from tip-off between the Bees and the host, Dragons, here on the Batavia Daily News Sports Network. My name is Alex Braski here with you. Should be a good one. Pembroke at 11 and three, Byron Burgeon, excuse me, Pembroke at nine and three, Byron Burgeon at 11 and four. Personal here tonight on the BDN Sports Net. As we are underway. Brian Bergen comes away with the opening tip. As the Bees were ice cold from the three point arc during their game against Attica earlier this week, which was also broadcast on our air. Raiden Chambray had over 20 points in that game. Kept Byron Bergen in it till the end, but somebody besides Chambray is going to have to step up this evening. The Bees hope to unseat the Dragons, who previously defeated Byron Virgin this season. So you're going to have to bear with me on the shots to the right side of the floor. Can't exactly see that side on my monitor. I'm going to have to maybe adjust as we're very up close and personal. And 
When I turn the camera that way, frankly, it's just too difficult to see. We'll do our best here. To make things as enjoyable as possible for you, the viewer. It's always our goal, 100%. Straighten out the shot here. As Clara takes a three. That one tipped. Pim inside. Second chance for Byron Virgin. No good. And here comes Pimble. The other way. It's been an interesting couple of years for Pembroke. They've had plenty of success. A sectional championship last season. Their first in program history is. Inside, finishing through a bit of contact was Jaden Bridge, and now the whistle blows. And I think I've determined what I need to do to get that far corner to the right. Like I said, I'm doing my best throughout the game. To make sure we have everybody in the shot here. Inside look to Shambry. Byron Bergen couldn't get it to him. Now here comes Pembroke. Sean Pistolka lost the handle near the scores table, and we're going the other way. Byron Virgin to take over. We'll show you just how close quarters we are tonight. With the cheerleaders right beside us. So we'll hear plenty from them, plenty from me, plenty from the officials, players, and coaches here this evening. Looks like we have a delay here. No. Back to action. As it's 2 0 Pembroke. So update the score a little bit late. Bridge, the inside look for the Dragons, broke the seal. Now it's Shambry inside. And the foul call. Pembroke head coach, Matt Shea. Byron Virgin head coach, Roxanne Nowak. Two veteran head coaches guiding their teams through this contest. Been a struggle as of late for Byron Virgin. They've suffered Losses at the hands of Wheatland, Chai Attica, and a few others. Is Shambry able to finish inside? We're all square at two piece. Genesee Community College scoreboard. Are you looking to explore careers in health and physical education? Look no further than GCC. You can learn more at genesee.edu slash phys ed. Pistolka with it on the wing. He bounces it inside. Sam Pfeiffer couldn't get the finish, and now it's Noah Clare with it for Byron Burgeon, quickly the other way. Tried to bounce it into Shambry. It was wide of the Byron Burgeon big man, but he was able to chase it down. Colin Martin for three from the corner. Winds up in the hands of Shambry underneath, and Byron Burgeon with its first lead of the game. Pass bridge out top to Owen Hootman. No good on the three. Good ball fake there to lift two Byron Bergen defenders off their feet. Now inside the bridge, and he finishes through Shambry. Byron Bergen getting it done in the early going. It was a slow start for them offensively against Attica. Sure, a positive sign for Coach Noeth that her team quickly on the board early and often here. And a double dribble called on Avery Ferrara. Ball goes back to the Bees. Bobby with it far away from the hoop. 
got plenty of range on his jump shot. Was off the mark on many of his attempts against Attica, but don't let that fool you. He can get hot in a hurry. Made a big shot down the stretch. Helped Byron Burgeon cut the deficit from 10 to 7 in the fourth quarter. So he'll keep shooting. And Byron Burgeon needs him to knock a few down here tonight. Martin inside, ball fake, no good. Chambry, boy, is he a force. Offensive rebound with 3.46 remaining here in the first quarter. That will sh send Shamry to the line, fall on the Dragons. is the first of two free throws. Chambry, 0 of 2, a rare empty trip to the line for the Byron Virgin big man, who has plenty of touch, particularly from the free throw line. Stolka. Feeds it inside to Pfeiffer, and he gets the finish. They tied at six apiece. And a good battle in the early going. Very competitive here at Pembroke High School. Bobby at the top of the key. Gets it to Martin. He's guarded closely by Tyson Totten, the leading scorer in Pembroke history. We haven't heard much from him tonight. And Bobby knocks down his first attempt from beyond the arc. That's a good sign for Byron Burgeon. 6-9, your score is a nice shot from Bobby there. That one ripped away from Totten. Good hands from Bobby. Doing it on both ends for the Bees. Claire skips it over to Martin in the corner. Guarded closely by Pistolka. Gets it up top to Claire. Bounces it inside to Shambry. Nice post passing to Pim. Five-point lead for Byron Virgin. That one nearly came through your TV screen. Totten into the corner for Hootman. Nice ball fake lifted, lifted Claire off his feet. Martin collects the rebound for Byron Virgin. Foul from behind as Pfeiffer and Hootman collapse on Chambry inside a little too aggressively. And that draws the foul. Ferreira will take a break here. Two fouls on Pfeiffer. Bridge back into the game. We're gonna have another sub onto the floor. It's gonna be Caleb Felski on for Pembroke. And Pfeiffer is gonna take a break with those two fouls. Coach Shea wanting to preserve one of his forwards here. One of the many seniors on this Pembroke team. Inbound pass goes to Claire. Bobby on the wing. Gets it back to Claire up top. Play was designed to get it to Chambry inside. Instead, they get it to him at the high post. Bobby from the wing. Two for two, Brody Bobby. And a little bit of emotion on his way back to the Byron Virgin bench. Who can blame him? As the BB sharpshooter on the money in the early going. It's a... It's an eight-point advantage for Byron Virgin here. This time out brought to you by Robley Plumbing and Heating, LLC. One call does it all at Robley. Are you looking to have your hot water tank replaced? Do you need to have a faucet that's stripping repaired? Or would you like to have a new toilet installed? Call Robley. They'll answer and get you all fixed up in no time. Call 470-8542 as Robley has been servicing the Glow region. For over 75 years, Robley specializes in all things plumbing, heating, and air conditioning, including well systems, boilers, furnaces, hot water tanks, and more. Iron Burgeon with the early lead here, 14 to six on the Genesee Community College scoreboard. And he's back to action and a quick foul called on Colin Martin.
as I said before, this is a rematch from very early in Pembroke's season, their first game of the year. They got out to a 1-0 start with an 11-point win over the Bees, 61-50. So the Bees looking to bite back here against the Dragons. And it looks like we have a clock issue. Forty-seven remaining in the opening frame. Totten with the ball down the lane. Nice ball fake through the contact, but he couldn't finish. Instead, he'll head to the line for two shots. the first and knocks down the second two of two for Tyson Totten finds his way into the scorebook here his team trailing by six late in the first quarter Bobby two for two from the perimeter Totten on him closely now Pim he'll pull the trigger no good Totten collects the board here comes Pembroke Totten along the baseline pump fake Lifts Pim off his feet. Four quick points for Tyson Todd and has cut the lead in half. It's now a four point advantage for the Byron Virgin Bees. Inside, Chambry rejected by Bridge. Claire, the 15 footer, he knocks it down. Second chance opportunity for Byron Virgin, converted by Claire. minute here in the first. Totten working against Chambry, fading away. No good. Bridge the rebound underneath and he missed the bunny. Chambry collects the defensive rebound after the extra chance. Did not be converted by the Dragons. Bobby on the wing. Off the dribble, guarded by Totten. Reversal to Pim. Close out on Bobby, but hand in his face. Doesn't matter. Three of three, Brody Bobby from beyond the arc. It's a nine point lead for Byron Burge and Totten from near midcourt. Wanted the foul to no avail. We head to the second quarter. 19 to 10, Byron Burge in the lead. Once again, we'd like to thank our sponsors, beginning with Von Glitz Enterprises LLC a fully insured company that offers free estimates for every job and specializes in septic system installation and repairs along with water line installation. Check them out on Facebook or call them at 585-471-4240. Also, crazy cheap cars, the ultimate in price and selection. They also need your trade in and pay top dollar for your trade, so give them a call at 948-8000 or better yet, we'll see you right here. Also, Zoom Total Fitness. Fitness for all levels, personal training, cross training, bodybuilding, powerlifting, and yoga, 24-7 access, with only $35 per month in membership fees. New equipment in a super clean facility, training, classes, infrared sauna, and more, 861-8995. Also, Harding Plumbing, a family-owned and operated company that is EPA certified and fully insured. At Harding Plumbing, they offer fair pricing for excellent workmanship and stand behind their work and business name. With 24-hour emergency service and 12 technicians, they have the ability to get the workload done in a timely fashion. Call them now at 237-5561. And finally, before we head to a quick break of telling you our sponsors, Summit Family Dental Care. Their dentists and staff are committed to giving you the best dental experience that Warsaw and Geneseo have to offer. Like any trusting relationship, their care begins with getting to know each other, and their highest priority is providing the quality dental services you deserve in a comfortable, convenient atmosphere. Call their Warsaw location at 786-3676 or visit them online at summitfamilydentalcare.com They have a few more sponsors to tell you about after the next dead ball here as Pembroke looking to work its way back from a nine point deficit it's brought a couple subs onto the floor Felsky 
remains out there. Also, Landon Surrow onto the floor for Pembroke. Although, he will head right back out as Totten got the quick break he needed. So it's Kostolka, Felski, Ferreira, Bridge, and Totten here to begin the second. Nine point lead for the Bees. Starter is on the floor for Byron Burgeon. Claire bounces it into Shambry. Lost the handle momentarily, able to regain. Couldn't get the finish though. Felski tips it out. And Totten able to chase it down. Nice play from Felski there to tip it to his teammate. Totten spinning into the lane. Out to Felski, swings it to Ferreira for three from the corner. And he knocks it down. Big three pointer from Avery Ferreira. That's been missing from Pembroke's game at points of this season. Ferreira really expected to be the second scorer to Totten being the primary. And He's come and gone this season. A good shot there and a nice job drawing the foul on the second attempt. He'll head to the line for two shots. Sink it, Avery! Sink it! As we told you before, we'd also like to thank Jessica Best, licensed real estate salesperson. As part of Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, your best friend in real estate, Jessica can be reached at 409-8734. Two of two for Ferreira, down to a four point Byron Virgin lead now. Pin into the corner for Martin. Spin, lost the handle. Gets it to Shamry now at the high post. Martin from the corner for three, no good. Totten collects the board. Totten off the dribble, working against Shambry, one on one to the rack. Interesting matchup there as Shambry has taken it upon himself to mirror Totten tonight, and Totten got the better of the big man there. We'd also like to thank Western New York Concrete which has provided concrete delivery services in Batavia and the surrounding area for over 87 years. At Western New York Concrete, they're ready to provide you with concrete you need so that you can have results you can depend on. Inbound for the Bees, Martin in the corner, now up top to Bobby, and they'll reset with Claire. Byron Bird's lead is dwindling here to begin the second. Pembroke on a nine, excuse me, a seven oh run and an offensive foul called on Byron Burgeon as Bridge goes tumbling to the floor. We'd also like to thank Strike Force Lanes. League's forming now at Strike Force Lanes for the 2024-25 bowling season. Come and enjoy great food and drinks at the Rusty Rail Bar and Grill. Wednesday night is 75 cent wing night. Friday is fish fry night, and they also have weekend specials. So here we go, final six minutes of this first half. Totten inside, boy, is he starting to heat up, and we're all tied at 19. 9-0 run for Pembroke here to start the second quarter. Claire tried to get it into Shambry, but a foul is called on Bridge. Shambry calling for it inside. Instead, they get it to Pim in the corner. Skip pass to Martin up top. Cody Carlson on the floor, and with the ball now for Byron Burgeon. From the corner, floater, no good. Pistolka on the rebound for Pembro. Ferreira down the lane. Aggressive move, but he couldn't get the finish. We remain tied at 19 on the Genesee Community College scoreboard. Are you looking to explore careers in health and physical education? Look no further than GCC. There's a timeout on the floor called by Byron Burgeon. This timeout brought to you by Roguelay Plumbing and Heating. We take a quick break on the Batavia Daily News Sports Network.
back to action out of the timeout. Byron Burgeon has it. Trying to end the drought to begin the second quarter. They are scoreless during this frame. Pembroke has poured in at nine points to tie it at 19. Inside for Felski, right back out to Pastolka. Skip pass to Ferrara now. Totten working against Carlson in the corner. Gets it to Pastolka. He'll try the three. Missed everything. Out of bounds. Off the Dragons. in for Chambry. He had gone a while without touching the ball. And immediately, Byron Burgeon back on the board and back in front. Nice bucket for Chambry there. As we've reached the midpoint here in the second quarter. Back and forth, we have gone. Totten from the elbow. The stars are out here tonight, folks, as Chambry and Totten have put on a show here throughout the first half. Claire had that one ripped away. From Byron Burge, and I have to get the ball in Chambry's hands nearly every possession. Bobby in the same vein due to his hot start from the perimeter. Ferreira from the corner. No good. Felski left alone, collects the rebound. In the hands of Totten now. Back into the corner for Ferreira before Felski resets. That one thrown to nobody as Felski thought he had Ferreira in the corner still, but nobody was home. Pistolka, excuse me, Hootman back onto the floor. Felski will take a break. They're all tied at 21 on the Genesee Community College scoreboard. Are you looking to explore careers in health and physical education? Learn more at genesee.edu slash phys ed. Martin to the basket. Nice ball fake. Couldn't get the finish. Shambry was there and the foul. On the putback, the big man headed to the line for two shots. Poor night from the free throw line thus far for Shambly. It's his third miss. Gains the lead. Totten off the dribble. Kicks it out to Ferreira. Another three ball attempt. No good. Rebound goes to the Dragons. Pfeiffer is fouled. Throw from Pfeiffer, ties the game at 22. Pembroke back in the lead. Final three minutes of this second quarter. Martin splits two defenders all the way to the rim. Can't get the finish. Carlson with the tie up underneath and a foul called. Bootman working hard for the Dragons. Once again, this game brought to you by Robley Plumbing and Heating. Also, Vonglas Enterprises LLC. Water lines, sewer lines, septic systems, drainage. No job too big or too small, that is. Bongless Enterprises, LLC. And 
How about this? Pete Vanglis and Vanglis Enterprises out of the country right now building, I believe, schools for the less fortunate. Forgive me on the specifics, but I did come across that on Facebook, so good on them for giving back to our worldwide community. Ferrero misses the first free throw attempt. And went around the rim and out. Felski checks in. Ferreira will take a break after going one of two from the free throw line. Martin from the corner. No good. He's been off the mark. Chambry. Force it inside to Carlson. Back to Chambry. Ball fake. Off glass. No good. Totten on the rebound. Matt Shea wanted to follow along the sideline to no avail. Pistolka to the rim and the lay in. Pembroke with a four point lead. It's our largest advantage since, I believe, early four to nothing. If I'm correct. Inside, Chambry had it knocked away. He wants a foul call, and he won't get it. Both teams working the officials here. They've done a nice job in the early going. Martin to Carlson, back to Martin in the corner. Chambry, nice position inside. Couldn't get the finish, though. They'll head to the line, however, as the foul is called on Bridge on the putback. Also brought to you by CrazyCheapCars.com, the ultimate in price and selection, and Zoom Total Fitness. Open 24 hours, seven days a week, $35 per month in membership fees. Also, Harding Plumbing, plumbing, heating, and air conditioning services for residential, commercial, and agricultural customers. And lastly, before we head back to action, Summit Family Dental Care offices in Warsaw and Geneseo. Chambry, another, or excuse me, made that one from there. And give the big man the credit he was due there. Two of two. Nice trip to line there for Shamry. Cuts it to a two point deficit for the Bees. Totten off the bounce to the block. Pump fake to get Shambry off his feet. And that's going to be a foul called against the Bees. This game also being brought to you by Jessica Best, your best friend in real estate. State, licensed real estate salesperson for Berkshire Hathaway Home Services. Western New York Concrete, quality ready mixed concrete. Totten makes the first free throw. Board walls, floors, foundations, driveways, insulated concrete forms. That's Western New York concrete. And also, strike force lanes in the rusty rail bar and grill in Oakfield, New York. 948-6060. New leagues are forming now. Also, Friday, fish fry coming up. Two of two for Totten. Back to a four-point lead for Pembroke. Claire into the corner for Carlson. Jeremy Gabby into the game now for Pembroke. Carlson knocks down the jumper. His first points of the game come in a big spot. Closing moments of this first half. Genesee Community College scoreboard reads a two-point lead for the Dragons. And an illegal screen called on Gabby on the dribble. Or excuse me, just the handoff, rather. And it's going the other way. 56 seconds remaining here in the half. Ball bounced inside, taken away by Caleb Felsky. That one taken away by Pim. Loose ball near midcourt. Pistolka able to chase it down. Skipped into the corner for Hootman. 
does a great job with that hesitation, drawing defenders to him, and he does it again. Four-point lead for Pembroke. Final 20 seconds here in the second quarter. He's looking for a bucket to close the frame. The shot clock is off. Carlson up to Claire. Five seconds remaining. Into the corner. Carlson fading away off the side of the backboard. And that's going to leave 1.1 on the clock as Pembroke takes over possession. That one thrown into the front court, lobbed up by Pim. We had the halftime four-point lead for Pembroke. Good action in the first half on the Batavia Daily News Sports Network. We take a 10-minute break, and we'll be back with the final two quarters. Alex Brasky with you. See you soon. Enjoy the performance from the cheerleaders.
right, back to action here in the third quarter. It begins with Pembroke in front by four. Side pass to Bridge. Couldn't get the finish, knocked away, out of bounds. And it's gonna go to Byron Burgett. Once again, this game brought to you by our scoreboard sponsor, Genesee Community College. Explore careers in health and physical education. Learn more at genesee.edu slash phys ed. So it was a good half for both Tyson Totten and Braden Chambry, along with Brody Bobby, who knocked down three three-pointers during the first half. Pembroke withstood an early charge from the Bees as Byron Burgeon took an early nine-point advantage after the first quarter. But Pembroke took a four-point lead to the break, and now Totten looking to extend it as he heads to the line for two shots. And he makes the first. One of two for Totten. Skipped into the corner for Martin. Now the opposite corner. Bobby tries the three, no good. Chambry on the rebound, extra possession here for the Bees. Him to Claire, now into the corner for Martin. He'll try the three, no good. He's been ice cold in the early going. Had it going a bit the other night against Attica. Made a couple of shots, but he's not been able to find the bottom of the net thus far. That one knocked out of bounds near the Pembroke bench. Dragons will maintain possession. Inside, Bastolko was looking for Pfeiffer. That got knocked out of bounds. Officials saw it go off Pfeiffer, so it's back to the Bees. Bobby on the wing, inside. Claire on the short corner. Now it's to Pim down the lane line. He's fouled on his way to the rim. He'll head to the line. Two shots coming up for the Bees. Pim. Four point lead for Pembroke. Totten brings it up the floor. Pistolka with it now at the top. Pfeiffer, Ferreira, and Bridge join them on the floor. It's the starters on the court for the Bees. Byron Burgeon wanted to travel there. Instead, they got a steal from Brody Bobby. into Chambry, but knocked away by Pistolka. And he comes up with that turnover by the Bees. Pembroke quickly the other way. Bridge wanted it, cutting down the lane. Instead, they get it to Ferrara for three. Good choice. Ferreira knocks it down, his second three of the game. Seven point lead for the Dragons. Chambry goes tumbling down in the short corner. Regains his footing, gets it at the elbow. Can't knock it down. Rebound to Ferreira. Cotton inside the bridge. Finishes through the contact. Pim was there, 
Put a body on him, a little bit too aggressive. And one opportunity coming up for Jaden Bridge. Good on the free throw attempt. As Hootman has come back onto the floor. Ferreira has taken a break. Spinning into the lane is Shambri. What a finish. Count it. Three point play opportunity coming up. Good from Chambry. He's had his struggles from the line tonight, but knocks that one down. Totten off glass, no good. Rebound to Pim. Nearly ripped from behind by Totten. But Byron Burgeon able to push it up the floor. Into the corner for Chambry. Flop from Bridge. Chambry plays through it, out of bounds, off the Dragons. Nearing the midpoint here in the third quarter. Bobby to Pim, into the corner for Martin. He knocks it down. Four-point lead for Pembroke and a timeout called by the Dragons. On the Genesee Community College scoreboard, 3.59 remaining in the third. 36 to 32, Pembroke in the lead. This timeout brought to you by Robley Plumbing and Heating, LLC. One call does it all when you call Robley. Is your furnace not working? Do you need your hot water tank replaced? Would you like to have a faucet that's stripping replaced? Would you like to have a new toilet installed? Call Robley. They'll answer and get you all fixed up in no time. Call 470-8542 as Robley has been servicing the Glow region for over 75 years. Robley specializes in all things plumbing, heating, and air conditioning, including well systems, boilers, furnaces, hot water tanks, and more. Byron Burgeon and Pembroke, a Genesee Region League showdown going on here at Pembroke High School. We got a good one for you. As it's a four point game, four minutes to go in the third. Pastolka nearly lost his footing, threw it away. Bobby comes up with the loose ball. Bobby working against Pfeiffer down the baseline, and he's fouled on his way to the rim. Pembroke headed to the, excuse me, Byron Burgeon headed to the line. Bobby Bridge comes on. Pfeiffer checks out. Bobby one for two, but in there for the putback is Shambury. It's a one point game. Down the lane, kicks it to Felski along the baseline. Into the corner for Hootman. Now oh, they'll reset with Pistolka. 13 seconds on the shot clock. Totten, nice ball fake, draws the foul. He'll head to the line. Looking to improve Pembroke's advantage here.
First free throw good from Totten. Two point game now. Claire goes tumbling down, and that's a foul. No, it's a travel. Called on Claire. Byron Burgeon did not like that call whatsoever. Official saw it as Claire losing his footing on his own. And it's back to Pembroke. Bootman from the corner. Three ball. No good. Chambry underneath. Collects it. Here come the bees. Into the corner for Bobby. He's red hot tonight. We're all tied at 38. Bobby's fourth three-pointer of the evening. He was one of about 10 the other night against Attica beyond the three-point arc. Any given night, he can go off. Bootman from the corner. No good. Shambry collects the board. Chambry in the corner, working against Bridge. What a finish! Big man on big man, and Chambry gets the better of Bridge. Timeout Bees, excuse me, timeout Pembroke. We'd like to thank Vonglas Enterprises, LLC. Also crazycheapcars.com, Zoom Total Fitness, Harding Plumbing, Summit Family Dental Care, Jessica Best at Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, Western New York Concrete, and Strike Force Lanes. And I just realized I've been leaving one of our sponsors out this evening. We'll be sure to give them ample face time throughout this second half and absolutely make it up to them. And as we go. One moment and we will get there. I've cut it off on my list while reading. But the fourth quarter is going to be brought to you. By CB Beach and Sun Mortuary Incorporated. 1903 to 2024, celebrating 121 years, four to six Main Street and Curfew. Go Dragons. And that's not a Go Dragons moment as Pembroke turns it over on the inbound and Byron Burgeon's gonna take over. Leading suddenly by two points. This one bounced into Chambry. Nice pivot move. Four point lead for Byron Burgeon. And look at the Bees fans behind the bench. They've risen to their feet and they can feel it as this is a team that lost to Pembroke the first time around by 11 points. This is a defending sectional champion in the Dragons. Byron Burgeon looking for its first sectional championship in program history this year. Looking to knock off Pembroke here tonight. And a foul called on the Bees. Dragons. Tell you about our sponsor once again, CB Beach and Sun Mortuary. But first, Braden Chambry has just reached the 1,000 point milestone for his career and getting congratulations. As that last basket for the Bees was the milestone mark for Chambry. He has led BB here tonight. A great performance. Looking to finish it off with a win. So as I was saying, C 
CB Beach and Sun. We're gonna tell you about them, and then next time out, we're gonna show you what they have to offer. Well, here we go. Back to action after the timeout called by Byron Burgeon to celebrate Chambry and his milestone moment. Four point lead for the Bees with 117 remaining here in the third quarter. Tried to get Pim on a back door to Chambry, but Felski was there to take it away. Here comes Pembroke now. Into the corner for Ferreira. He knocks it down. Big three pointer for Pembroke. And it's an 11. Excuse me, one point lead. So I looked down at my scoreboard here, trying to get the score clock shirt up as Chambry finishes inside. So about 30 seconds remaining here in the third quarter. So we get that score clock. Squared away here on the Batavia Daily News Sports Network. Alex Braske with you. What a ball game we've had. This Genesee Region League showdown between Byron Burgeon and Pembroke. As Jaden Bridge missed everything inside, Pembroke came up with a rebound. Shot clock is off. 15 seconds to go in the frame. 10 seconds to go now. Bobby up top to Martin. They're going to try to get it to Chambry or Bobby here. They get it to Bobby in the corner for three. Around the rim and out. We head to the fourth three-point game. We'd like to thank CB Beach and Sun Mortuary Incorporated from 1903 to 2024, celebrating 121 years. It's been family run all along, four generations of their family serving your family and the community. Go Pembroke Dragons at CB Beach and Sun. Four to six Main Street in Corfu. Phone number 585-599-4520. That's CB Beach and Sun, one of our sponsors here on the Batavia Daily News Sports Network. Game also brought to you by Genesee Community College, Robley Plumbing and Heating, Vongles Enterprises LLC, CrazyCheapCars.com, Zoom Total Fitness, Harding Plumbing, Summit Family Dental Care, Jessica Best and Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, Western New York Concrete, and Strike Forest Lanes in the Rusty Rail. Bar and Grill, fourth quarter coming up. What a game we have for you on the Batavia Daily News Sports Network. Pembroke trailing by three, and they begin the final frame with possession. It's been a back and forth game. Byron Burgeon led by nine points after the first quarter. Pembroke took a four point lead at halftime. Increased that lead during the third quarter before Byron Burgeon came storming back. And they begin the fourth quarter with a takeaway. Pim into the corner for Bobby. Now back up top to Claire. He'll reset things. We've seen Braden Chambry net his 1,000th career point here this evening. One of many players throughout the region in both the boys and girls round to do so this season. And that one banked off the window. It's now a five point lead for Byron Burgeon. Totten into the corner for Pfeiffer along the baseline. It's taken away. It looked like it was poked from behind. And Pim came up with a steal. Pim off the dribble to Shambri in the corner along the baseline. Beautiful move to the basket, and you can count it. Three-point play opportunity coming up as Chambry finishes through the contact. Chambry missed 
misses the free throw. And a foul on the rebound. Stolen momentarily, but Martin couldn't get the handle on it. Back into the front court, Pfeiffer along the baseline. Nice move from Pfeiffer and the finish. Into a five point deficit for the Dragons. in the corner, bounces it inside to Chambry, and out to Pim, over to Claire. Martin with it now. Pim the head fake from the marker, no good. Ball batted around, Pim the offensive rebound, extra possession for the Bees, and they pull it back out. Martin, three. It's good! Colin Martin, his first three-pointer of the game. And it comes at a perfect time for Byron Burgeon and a timeout called by Pembroke. Once again, this game brought to you by CB Beach and Sun Mortuary Incorporated, 1903 to 2024, celebrating 121 years. 46 Main Street in Corfu, for number 599-4520. Family run since 1903. Four generations of their families serving your family and the community. Go, Pembroke, Dragons. So if you're just joining us, it was a nine point lead for Byron Burgeon after the first quarter. Pembroke mounted its lead throughout the second half. Byron Burgeon has come storming back. They now lead it by eight with 5.45 remaining. What a game. Here on the Batavia Daily News Sports Network, Alex Brasky with you. Our first of five games, excuse me, our third of five games this week. And it's back to action here at 5.40, remaining in the fourth. Byron Burgeon. Claire into the front court. He'll settle things in. Bobby nearly lost the handle. Chambry against Bridge. Down the lane, into the corner for Bobby, and it went out of bounds. The throw away from the Bees. And the Dragons back in possession. And a full timeout coming for Pembroke. Once again, brought to you by GCC, Robley Plumbing and Heating, Bongless Enterprises, LLC, CrazyCheapCars.com, Zoom Total Fitness, Harding Plumbing, Summit Family Dental Care, Jessica Best and licensed real estate sales, or licensed real estate salesperson Jessica Best at Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, Western New York Concrete, Strike Force Lanes and the Rusty Rail Bar and Grill, and also CB Beach and Sun Mortuary Incorporated from 1903 to 2024, celebrating 121 years, four to six Main Street in Corfu, phone number 585-599-4520. Family run since 1903, four generations of their family serving your family and the community. CB Beach and Sun Mortuary Incorporated would like to wish the Pembroke Dragons good luck. So Byron Burgeon leading Pembroke here by eight points. 
in the fourth quarter of this one as we near the midpoint. Braden Chambry has eclipsed the 1,000 point milestone. Two 1,000 point scores on the floor. Now one for each side. Tyson Totten, the leading scorer in Pembroke history. And now Braden Chambry, another 1,000 point scorer for Byron Burgeon. I believe their most recent 1,000 point scorer was Brandon Burke, if I'm not misinformed there. Totten takes it away in transition and a two foul call at the rim. That's not a good decision from Byron Bergen. That will send Totten to the line for a three-point play opportunity. It's a three-point play. Herrera and Totten closing off Pim near the sideline. Now it's Bobby into the lane, kicking it to the corner for Martin. He tries the three, but it's an air ball. Out of bounds, off the Dragons. It stays with the Bees. Stolka, Pfeiffer fronting Chambry in the post. Totten takes it away on the perimeter. Transition, layup. Three point game. Final three and a half minutes here in the fourth quarter. What a Genesee Region League showdown. Pim to Martin. Lost the handle, but it was right to Chambry. And he gets the finish from the block. Stolka, high up off the wiring, and that's out of bounds. Byron Burgeon will take back over. Martin into the corner, Bobby left alone. Too long on the three-point attempt. Ferrara had it poked away by Bobby. Offensive foul! Totten took the charge. Ball on Chambry. Martin takes it away in the inbound. down the lane, offensive foul. Jaden Bridge takes the charge. Two quick fouls on Chambry, that is his fourth. 2.22 remaining in the fourth quarter. As you see, Chambry's mother has done the 1,000 point shirt and boy does she look nervous as all heck. What a big game here for her son and her son's squad against this Titanic Pembroke program. Three ball, no good. And a foul on the rebound called on Pembroke. Bridge commits the foul. And Felski will check in for the Dragons. Court was swarmed, but able to get it away to Martin. Now a foul near the B's bench. 
That's committed by Pfeiffer. I believe that's his fifth foul. And it is. Pfeiffer has been disqualified. Bridge will check back in. And Chambry will head to the line. No, my fault. Out of bounds underneath. Chambry standing at the free throw line waiting for the inbound play. And Martin stepped over the line. An unforced error. Committed by an experienced player. It's not often you see that. Five point lead, Pembroke with possession in the final two minutes of play. Totten off the bounce, into the lane, head fake. Chambry kept his feet and Totten finished over him. Player fouled near the sideline. Bootman picks up his second personal. That is his first. Fourth team foul, I believe, although they may double check it here. Got four team fouls. 141 remaining. Three points separating these two teams. Byron Burgeon in the lead. Martin takes the handoff in the corner. Dribbles through two defenders, and he's fouled. Just joining us, Byron Burgeon led by nine in the first quarter. Pembroke came storming back, took a lead throughout the second half, but Byron Burgeon has come storming back. This is a Byron Burgeon team that lost to Pembroke by 11, the first meeting between these two squads. Second free throw missed by Martin, but the Bees get the rebound. Now it's Shambry with it in the corner, and he'll reset it with Pim up top. Chambry skips it over to Bobby. Into the corner for Penn. Back to Bobby. Martin is fouled from behind by Felski. And that will send Martin to the line for two shots. Makes the first. Two for two for Colin Martin. with possession and a six-point lead inside the final minute. And Bobby is fouled by Pistolka. 40 seconds remaining. Critical free throws coming up for Bobby. And a timeout called by Coach Shea. Once again, we'd like to thank CB Beach and Son, Mortuary Incorporated, 1903 to 2024, celebrating 124 years. 46 Main Street in Corfu, 585-599-4520. Family run since 1903, four generations of their family serving your family and the community. Go Pembroke Dragons.
Bobby makes the first free throw. Bobby, two of two, eight point lead for Byron Burgeon. 40 seconds remaining. Travel, no, foul, excuse me. Questionable foul there for Byron Burgeon and now Hootman to the line for two shots, but he misses the first. 31 seconds remaining here in the fourth. Hootman one of two. Final half minute here in the fourth. And a timeout called by Byron Burge. Once again, we send it to the break with CB Beach and Sun. Mortuary Incorporated. Proud sponsor here on the Batavia Daily News Sports Network. When it comes to your family's toughest time, trust CB Beach and Sun to get the job done. Family run since 1903. Four generations of their family serving your family and the community. CB Beach and Sun wishes the Pembroke Dragons good luck, but time is running out on Pembroke here. 24 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. In a timeout called by Byron Burgeon, the Dragons are going to have to foul here with the shot clock off and that seven point deficit. This is the Batavia Daily News Sports Network. Alex Brasky with you. It's been a good one. But Byron Burgeon looking to salt this one away. The final 24 seconds. Bobby takes the inbound, tries to split the defenders. Cannot. Totten gets the steal and lays it in. That makes things interesting. Five point game. Timeout called by Pembroke with 15 seconds remaining. This game brought to you by Genesee Community College, Robley Plumbing and Heating. Vanglas Enterprises, LLC, CrazyCheapCars.com, Zoom Total Fitness, Harding Plumbing, Summit Family Dental Care, Jessica Best, your best friend in real estate, Western New York Concrete, Strike Force Lanes in the Rusty Rail Bar and Grill. Leagues are forming now at Strike Force Lanes for the 2024 25 bowling season. Come and enjoy great food and drinks at the Rusty Rail Bar and Grill Wednesday night. The 75 cent wing night and Friday night is fish fry night. They also provide weekend specials. Also, CB Beach and Sun Mortuary Incorporated, 1903 till now, 2024, celebrating 121 years in service. Four to six Main Street in Corfu, 585-599-4520. Family run since 1903. Four generations of their family serving our family and the community. Go, Pembroke Dragons. So Byron Burgeon set to inbound here with 15 seconds remaining. And they do so. Bobby collects the inbound and he's fouled with 14 seconds left. He'll head to the line for two shots. Critical free throws coming up for Bobby. This could put it out of reach. Six point lead for the Bees. What a night for Brody Bobby. Final 14 seconds, Totten will sprint down the floor. Claire takes a tumble, three ball from Hootman goes in, but it's gonna be too little too late. It's now a four point Byron Burgeon lead with four seconds left. And a foul call will send BB to the line. Two free throws to ice it for Bobby. 
Once again, thank you for joining us on the Batavia Daily News Sports Network. It's been a great game here between Pembroke and Byron Burgeon. These two teams finishing one and one against one another this season. It's been a grind throughout the Genesee region this season and sectional play right around the corner. Bobby makes the first. He's been automatic from the three free throw line. Nearly automatic from the three point line. Two of two for Bobby, and that's going to do it. Here from Pembroke High School, Alex Brasky signing off. We will see you next time.